In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to stop one of the best shotgun runs in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become better at Madden 21 and if you want to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to know whenever we release new videos, we upload videos every day that can help you get better on the offensive side of the ball as well as the defensive side of the ball. Now in this video, like I said, we're going to be showing you how to stop one of the best shotgun running schemes in the game, and that's the trips tight end offset. This is a very good running uh, formation from the shotgun. We're gonna share with you in this video how you can shut it down. Now, real quick, if you want to get my entire 335 wide defensive guide, you can get that for just 15 bucks in the description of this video. Um, we break down exactly how you need to run this amazing, amazing defense, and you can get it for just 15 bucks. We break down run defense, man defense, match defense, zone defense, as we also show you how to blitz at a very high level. So if you wanna get access to that defensive guide, it's in the description for just 15 bucks. Now the play that we're gonna be utilizing to slow this rundown is the Mike Woods three out of the nickel 335 wide. It's probably the best defensive play in the entire game. But real quick, I wanna first just show you kind of the problem with this running play. So if I stand right here, you're gonna see that if I go to the RPO, I'm gonna to go to the RPO trap alert bubble at a trips tight end offset. And what you're gonna see is, you know, we're just gonna basically pick up the user and as you can see, we can just run and run and run and run and run. And that's really the, the, the crux of the problem. So how do you stop this? Well, um, what, I, what I've actually been doing recently is instead of standing kind of like right in here, I've actually started doing more of this right here, kind of hiding between the guard uh, and the tackle, standing a little bit more off, so something like this right here. And that way, when they go to this RPO trap, I can kind of shoot in, and then I can kind of come uh, to the left. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna kind of confuse the offensive lineman. Now, it's really hard to kind of um, completely understand this uh, without really the explanations behind it. So basically what you wanna do, what we, what we what you probably know to do is basically this. So like if I run inside zone, you would just like run right in here. And as you can see, the center picks you up. What we're trying to do a little bit differently now is we're trying to kind of uh, glide in a little bit better and basically, you know, kind of force the, the offensive lineman to kind of glitch out a little bit. So if we're still kind of doing the same shoot, we're just doing it in a little bit different of a way. So as you can see here, the shadows, we want to be between the guard and the tackle. You see how the guard and the tackle have shadows underneath their, their feet. That's who we want to be standing in between. And then when we go to RPO trap alert, trap alert bubble, we want to go down and then kind of around just like that right there. Now, that's actually a really good example. I just didn't make the tackle. So let me show you what I did in the instant replay. This is what I'm talking about. And this is really the key to good run defense, whether it be from shotgun, from under center. It's really what you can do with your user this year. It's all about blowing it up with your user. So if you watch my user on this play, I just want you to kind of, I'm going to zoom in on him. And I just want you to kind of watch what's going to happen. So it's sample the ball. You see, I'm gonna run down, and then you see right there that I run down, and then I basically loop around the the, the guard, or I apologize, the, yeah, the guard, as he tries to come and get me, I'm looping around him and then filling the lane, right? I'm dodging him and then filling the lane. That's what is happening in this run, uh, run fit. And so um, it's really, really easy to, you know, kind of um, show you where to stand. It's a little bit harder to teach you how to shoot. But basically, again, you're gonna kind of stand like right in here, and at the step of the way, you're gonna go in and around, just like that right there, and that's what's gonna happen. As you can see, that's a perfect example of what I'm talking about. It's really more about the, you, you don't wanna necessarily shoot in a straight line for this run. What you wanna do is you wanna kind of dodge the guy before he comes at you. So you see here, I see, see if I shoot straight down, I'm gonna get picked up. But what I do is I shoot down and then inside. If I were to shoot inside and then down, it would be a problem. If I were to shoot um, down and just go straight down, it'd be a problem. But because I shoot inside and down, um, that really helps me out a lot. Now, let me show you the same thing, but I wanna show it to you from inside zone. So again, inside zone, what I'm used to doing is we're used to kind of doing that right there. You see that I just literally, I literally just ran straight. I literally just ran straight in a diagonal way. Uh, I, I, I ran you know, straight in a diagonal line basically, so I ran diagonally, but I only ran one direction. I didn't like change directions. Thing. So watch what happens. I just kind of flow right in here and, and blow this up, right? The problem with that is it's undisciplined run defense. I'm actually starting to find out that this is a very undisciplined way to run 
to, 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 to run defense. And I've actually been guilty of doing this before, but you're gonna see why it's important here when we shift over to this, um, this RPO trap. So this is why the RPO trap is so good because if you try to do that specific shoot, essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna run yourself right into a block. So if I just run straight down, you see I just get blocked and that's probably what you've experienced time in and time again. So what you wanna do instead is you don't wanna shoot in a straight line. You wanna shoot basically in two different ways. So I'm gonna go down, inside, and around just like that. And as you can see right there, completely different result. Now you can still use this specific type of shoot to blow up an inside zone. So if they just run like an inside zone, you're gonna, again, you wanna be kind of like over in here and you wanna be back up enough, but you're gonna go down and then around just like that. And as you can see, we're able to blow up that run. Now, uh, last run that I wanna talk about is this little buck sweep. Uh, this bug sweep is a little bit more of an extreme version. So we're going to try to do basically the same kind of thing. So we get in our position where we're really down and around all that. We're going to go down, around, and I mean, you see the buck sweep to me is not as effective and it doesn't require as much from a user perspective, but I do want to dive into it a little bit. So, and it's a little bit of a different shoot, but basically if you see, you know, two pulling guards, then snap the ball, you can just literally run straight. You can literally just run straight through. So for inside zone, if you run diagonally, you're going to be effective. For any types of 0-1 traps or pulling guards, if you just kind of go down and in or in and down, you're going to be effective. And then for like a bug sweep, then you just have to run straight down. You don't even have to do anything uh, special to stop that one. That's really not that hard of a run to stop. Again, you're going to you want to be kind of like right in here. Um, and then, oh, RPO buck sweep. Okay, I'm just gonna blow it up with my user, just like that. And as you can see, we're able to blow it up. So this is an easy way to play shotgun run defense. The cool part about this is this doesn't require um, these outside linebackers to blitz. So if I wanted to, you see here, if I go to that RPO trap, I can still stop and I'm gonna go down and around just like so. And as you can see, we're able to blow it up. I still have better coverage that way and I can pass commit. So that's what makes this a really good run defense is it takes away the run, but it also takes away the bubble screen, which is really nice. So if you want to learn my complete 335 wide defensive guide, you can get that in the description for just uh, $15. It will literally walk you through not only how to have the best run defense in the community, but how to have the best uh, man defense, the best match defense, the best zone drop defense, and most importantly, the best blitzes in the entire community. So if you want to get my entire nickel 335 wide defensive guide, you can get that in the description of this video for just $15. Thanks for watching. And if you want to get the guide, it is down. In the, there's going to be a link available in the description below.